Hello there! In this video, we're going to be taking a look at 5 animals that are considered endangered and almost extinct. The cause of them going almost extinct is either by subtle changes in the climate, by us humans killing them, in other words poaching, or by polluting and basically deleting their natural habitat out of existence for our own personal gain and profit. I myself found this very interesting and I'm sure that there are some animals on this list that you didn't even know existed, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. First of all, did you know that there are categories and criteria as to how an animal species is ranked? Humans have created a list, the IUCN Red List, which is basically a system for classifying animal species that are at risk for a global extinction. This is important to note as I will be talking about the rank of each animal discussed in this video. Now before you click off the video, I'm not gonna go through and analyze what each of these categories mean because it's actually a lot of stuff, but I'll leave a link down in the description so that you can check that out if you want. Alright, so there are 9 categories in total. The categories are the following. Not evaluated, data deficient, least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild, and extinct. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the first animal that is knocking on the door of extinction, the Sunda tiger. The Sunda or Sumatran tiger is native to Indonesia, specifically at the Sunda Islands, as their name suggests, and are holding on for dear life in what little forest remains on the island of Sumatra. Sunda tigers also lived in Jaffa and Bali in the past, but at this time they have already gone extinct due to deforestation, poaching and lack of prey. They can weigh up to around 140 kilograms and can grow up to 2.3 meters long. That might sound big, but keep in mind that it's actually one of the smallest species of tiger. Their fur also has that classic orange color tint with black stripes which help with camouflage. Today, the new population estimate for all tiger species from the Global Tiger Forum is about 5,574 wild tigers. Out of those, only around 400 are Sunda tigers, so it's no wonder that they're classified as critically endangered. I should also mention that even though the total population of tigers has almost doubled since 2010, it is still at only around 4% of their historic range, and that is just too sad. Next, we have an animal often called the Asian unicorn, the Saola. The Saola is actually one of the rarest mammals on Earth. The first time that someone saw this animal was all the way back in 1992, up in the Anamite Range in Vietnam. If you happen to find yourself wandering around in that range, and you're lucky enough to see one, you'll recognize them right away by their two parallel horns that have sharp ends and can reach up to 50 centimeters in length. Their fur is slick and dark brown in color, with some dappled white markings on their face. Standing at around 84 centimeters in height and weighing up to 100 kilograms, they do not have many enemies in the wild, except tigers and, of course, us humans, who hunt them for their horns. Even though there haven't been any formal surveys for their actual population number, the IUCN estimates that less than 750 exist in the wild today, since they are so rarely seen. That is the reason why they are classified in the critically endangered category as well. Next is the young T. finless purpose. They got their name because of their habitat, the Yangtze River. It's actually the longest river in Asia and was also the only river out of two on the planet that was home to two different species of dolphin, our finless purpose and the Baiji dolphin. Unfortunately, the Baiji dolphin was declared extinct in 2006. This came as a big surprise because for the first time in history, we humans wiped out an entire species of dolphin and it was completely our fault. The problem was overfishing, pollution and ship movement, and still is to this day. The waters they occupy are constantly flooded with fishermen and people that use the river as a way of transport, so the poor dolphins get injured and killed by boats, ships, and also by getting caught accidentally in fishing gear. They are also kinda big in size, capable of growing up to 1.9 meters in length, and that makes it easier for them to get hit by the boats. As you might have noticed, there is a theme that keeps coming back during this video, and the theme is that the finless purpose is also classified as critically endangered, with only around 1000 to 1800 left on the planet. The next endangered animal we will be talking about is the rhino. At this time, five species of rhinos exist on the planet. Because of poaching, three of those five species are among the most endangered animals on the planet. Those three are the Jaffan rhino, the Sumatran rhino, and the black rhino. There are three main reasons for poachers hunting the rhinos. In the past, 
Their horns were displayed as a symbol and demonstration of wealth. They were also used in traditional Chinese medicine or even sold on the black market. Just imagine that a Jaffan rhino's horn can sell for up to $30,000 per kilogram. That is basically a fortune right there and it's also the main reason that people keep hunting and poaching to this day. And the thing is that all three of those rhinos live in different parts of the world. The black rhino lives across Africa and thanks to persistent conservation efforts their numbers have risen to almost 6,500. Around 16,800 white rhinos live in Africa and are classified as a near threatened species, while around 4,800 of greater one-horned rhinos live in northeastern India and the Terai grasslands of Nepal and are classified to the vulnerable category. And right here is where things go really bad. The Jaffan rhino lives only a Yujung Kulon National Park in Jaffa, Indonesia. They're in the brink of extinction with only 76 Jaffan rhinos left on the planet. As for the Sumatran rhino, there are up to four isolated populations and as many as 10 subpopulations of Sumatran rhinos still left in Indonesia. The really sad part is that only one of these wild populations is believed to have enough individuals to be viable for survival. As for their population numbers, there are only 34 to 47 Sumatran rhinos left in the world. And this is why Sumatran rhinos and Jaffan rhinos are classified in the critically endangered category. As a person that loves all animals, except maybe some insects, thinking about their numbers makes it seem like they are beyond saving, and that saddens me deeply. Let's hope that with our help they can fight and win against the seemingly inevitable extinction. Then, the next animal we're gonna cover in this video is the Amur leopard. When you think of leopards, the first thing that comes to mind is Africa and tropical rainforests, but not for the Amur leopard. Today they are now found only in the border areas between the Russian Far East and Northeast China, but most of them live in Russia. Their body can grow up to 1.4 meters in length and their tail adds up to 90 centimeters extra. They can also weigh up to 50 kilograms if they are a mature male. The main reason for their population numbers is danger from poachers, who hunt and kill them for their coats and bones. As with the horns of the rhinos, the bones are also used in some kind of traditional Chinese medicine. And like the finless purpose, their habitat gets destroyed by fires, either natural or man-made. And, due to climate change, food availability for the Amur leopard is also a big problem. This is why they're also classified under the critically endangered category, with just a bit more than 84 individuals currently alive on the planet. It seems to me that there is another pattern that constantly shows up during this video, along with the critically endangered status. For almost every animal, we humans are the primary cause for their extinction. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!